like that one. <gasps> it is one! And it's doing it! Sea turtle! Sea turtle! Oh, it's a baby sea, sea turtle! turtle. <laughs> Lily did say lots of pictures. Okay, I'm done. Seagulls? Oh, this is bad. Seagulls are predators of baby sea turtles. Predators? You mean they want to eat it? But it just hatched. He's helpless. Poor turtle, poor turtle, poor turtle. Poor turtle, poor turtle. Grab it. Put it in the water itself. Huh? Nash says he wants us to pick it up and bring it to the sea ourselves. That's a great idea. Yay! Nash, wait. In nature, it's best to let creatures do things by themselves. We should only pick them up if there's no other way to help them. <sighs> Go away, seagulls! If we could scare them off, it could give the turtle time to get back to the water. But what are seagulls scared of? Caterpillars? Thunder? Broccoli? Aha! Uh -huh. Seagulls are afraid of hawks. So we'll make hawk sounds. They sound like... Um, uh, nay! Boo! I don't know about hawks, but your farm animal impressions are great, Gorby. Here's what a hawk sounds like. Nash, we need to be way louder to scare them. I've got an idea! Audrey, play the hawk sound through the polar boat speakers as loud as you can. Raising volume to maximum. Now would be a perfect time for a picture. All right, let's take some photos. <laughs> of the sea turtle, I meant. <laughs> we gotta keep up to it. But not too close, just close enough so I can see its camouflaging skills in action. Wanna take the wheel, Gorby? Do I? I mean, do you wanna drive? Oh, <laughs> Yes, please. <laughs> hmm. The octopus must have gotten scared again and camouflaged itself. How can we get close enough to watch it without scaring it? Hmm. Stop the polymerine. <laughs> I'm having an engineering moment. Huh? That means she's got a great idea for something to build. Finished. <laughs> Gorby, would you please press the button? Oh! Boom! Whoa! Amazing! Our polo marine is camouflaged! Thanks, Willow! Now we can get close to the octopus without it noticing us! Along with any other cepha... cepha... Lepods! Yes, cephalopods who might swim by. <gasps> Look! There's the octopus again! <gasps> It's uncamouflaging. It doesn't see us anymore. You're better at hide and seek than you thought, Gorby. Hey! Go! 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 <laughs> <laughs> nice work, Nash. Now we're blending anywhere. Even in a herd of zebras. Octopuses, cuttlefish, and squid Chain sheep in color Just so they stay hidden Disappearing right before your eyes It's nature's best disguise Oh, you're so sneaky Cephalopause Masters of mystery All because of camouflage These cool creatures They know how to blend In any setting Like coral rocks 
rocks and sand. They can change the texture of their skin. There they go again. Oh, you're so sneaky, cephalopods. Masters of mystery, all because of camouflage. I bet she can see me, cephalopods. Looking like seaweed, all because of, all because of camouflage. a rock. Maybe he meant this. Hey, Nash, is this what you wanted to show us? No! This time he totally meant... No, I got it. Come on! <sighs> hey, Lucky! What is what? it? Look! Um... Cool. Is that what you're trying to show us? Mm -mm. Then what did you want us to see? Snake! Swimming, swimming, swimming! You saw a snake swimming? Snakes don't swim underwater, do they? I've never heard of that. Me either. Maybe he saw a long fish. Or a piece of seaweed. <gasps> a snake! <gasps> it's a snake! Let's follow it! It looks like it's taking a breath of air. I'm looking it up. It's called a banded sea crate. It can't breathe underwater, so it goes to the surface for air. It must be able to hold its breath for a long time. Let's time it. Hello, hello, snake. Come here, snake. Oh, and it says the crate is venomous. <gasps> Nash, Nash. No touching. No, no, no. Okay. No. It's coming this way. Look out. Crates usually avoid divers. They just aren't interested in us. I wonder why not. Well, they eat fish. And we're not fish. Let's keep an eye on it. There's plenty more to see down here. <gasps> he went outside before he heard me. Marco, Marco come, come in. in! Hey, Willow. Hey, Chester. See any cool sea creatures approaching? I'm ready for my close-up. I think I see something over there. Oh, yeah. It looks like a whale. It's pretty big, too. I think I better go back to the polar marine. Basking shark approaching. Basking, Basking shark? shark? Ah! Wait, Bulls, wait. It's okay. Basking sharks are not dangerous. But his mouth is wide open. And it's coming this way. Whoa. Don't worry. The basking shark swims with a wide open mouth so it can eat plankton. There are the teeny tiny plants and animals that you can find everywhere in the ocean. Huh? Oh, nice. Wow. Okay, basking shark. Say plankton. Too blurry. Wait, basking shark, come back. I need to take a better one. Shark approaching. Yes, the basking shark is back. This one isn't a basking shark. Its mouth isn't as big. Then what kind is it? Audrey, we need a closer look. 
A great white shark! The biggest predator shark there is! You mean the kind that eats sea lions, fish, and seals? I'm coming in! I have an idea! Why don't we give you a hand? I'm swimming as fast as I can! Whoa! Whoa! Thanks, Willow. Thanks, everyone. Hey, Marco. Great white sharks have five rows of long, sharp teeth. Close to 300 teeth in total. Great white sharks are cool and all, but I don't need to see their teeth that close. Sorry you didn't get the shark picture you wanted, Marco. Not yet I haven't, but I will in a few seconds. Really? How? With my camera that I left outside. Everyone say, Great White Shark! Great White Shark! Now that's a Polo's picture. <laughs> Hippos really move fast. Hippos can actually run faster than people. That's surprising. They're so big. Knock our socks off, buddy. Whoa! Nash is an acrobat. I didn't know he could do that. Surprising. Oh, yeah? Well, how about this? <laughs> nice bum skating, Marco. Another surprising thing that one of us can do. <laughs> Thanks. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Prize! <laughs> I like how they can keep their whole body underwater, with just their nose and eyes sticking out so that they can breathe and see. That one was totally underwater. They must be able to hold their breath for a while. Hippos can stay underwater for up to five minutes at a time. And they can even sleep underwater and automatically come up to breathe without waking up. Wow! Oh, amazing! Hey, look! Oh. Whoa! That hippo was really swimming fast! Wait a minute. Is it really swimming? Whoa! Wait till you see this. <gasps> it's running! Underwater! It's called an underwater gallop. Like a horse's gallop? Exactly. Now that's a surprise. Surprise! Yes. In fact, the word hippopotamus means river horse. That oh, is cool. that. Hippos are really surprising animals, aren't they? Well, what about you, Chester? What's the most surprising thing that you can do? Well... Surprisingly funky. <laughs> Thank you. What a surprising day. Hippos are surprising. And the polos are surprising. Speaking of us, I've got one more surprise for you. Ooh, I bet she's gonna sing. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, that was surprising. <laughs> I'm going to program our Polopod to have echolocation, too. It could come in handy. I think they're ready for us to swim with them. All right. Come on, let's go. Yeah! Woohoo, yeah! Uh-oh. Marco! 
can't hear me. My Dolphy! Dolphy, bye! I'll get your toy back, Nash. Think, Jester, think. How can I find something that's underwater? A dolphin would know. <gasps> and dolphins use echolocation. That's it. I just finished programming the polypod with echolocation. Perfect. Activate echolocation. Is that it? No, that's a crab. And that's jellyfish. Hmm, where are you? Hey guys, what's up? Chester took the polypod to rescue Nash's toy that went overboard. Maybe I can try asking the dolphins for help. Okay, so maybe the dolphins don't understand me yet. I'll keep trying. Wait, could it be? Target spotted. Look what I found. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Great work, Chester. Thanks to echolocation. And to the dolphins for the idea. Yay, dolphins! Yay! Dolphins click and whistle and clack. Sending sounds to bounce the rain back. That's how they find stuff and their navigation. Swimming underwater using echolocation. Echo, echolocation, 